Hi everybody, welcome to this video on uh, the process I used to restore yet another tab file. A while back, this was in 2012, um, I went through a similar uh, process and I published a blog post on the process I followed at that time. But for the first time today, I'm going to make um, a video on uh, again a similar process uh, for restoring um, a tab file. The tools I'll be using are an online based um, hex editor, a calculator, Windows calculator in programmer's mode, so I can easily convert from decimal to hex and bin, um, tap clean front end and tap clean, of course. And let's get to the tab file that needs to be fixed. Um, I've already done the job, but I thought it'd be good to go through it uh, um, and show what what involves and um, how complex it it might be. So the first thing we do is in uh, tab clean we disable all scanners uh, because I know that this tape is only using turbo tape and uh, the standard ROM loader, uh, which makes it quicker to inspect it. You can see not all of it has been recognized. The interactive report tells us that there is a problem in this area, and um, this is the data part of a turbo tape file. It's it's very easy to guess that there's been a damage here in the in the stream, and um, that has cut the data file in two, um, because um, TapClean has already recognized and acknowledge the pause, it will not acknowledge um, any part of, uh, of, the, of the data file for this turbo tape file. Let's have a look in the graphical uh, uh, tool, graphical analysis tool. Yeah, as you can see the stream has, um, has got um, a damage here, and uh, there is a stray pulse here as well. Unfortunately the damage seems to be to the tape itself because um, when redumped um, this tape is showing the problem uh, the same problem in this year over and over again um, also unfortunately there's not much we can do by fixing a couple of pulses there has been data loss in here the good news uh, is that um, this is um, a magazine tape and has got a series of, of files that belong to a an English course, so chances are we'll be able to have a peek at other files uh, in an attempt to uh, restore this file, which I already know is the case. But um, let's 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 find these things out. So the first thing we do is within the report, the plain report. Um, Recent, uh, yeah, that one is, is not shown. But um, if we enable the uh, debug mode, then uh, tap clean will allow us to acknowledge files, even if there is a pause in between. So you can see there is a partial file here, and tap clean will try to decode it fully, as a matter of fact. And while doing so, it will report an error, which it should now show here. Yeah, so again, note this error down. And uh, the file itself is this one, uh, under 32. So let's go to file under 32. And uh, this is the address where the data payload starts. Okay. So let's figure out the offset within the PRG file where. Um, the damage has occurred. So I'll get this is the offset of the first read error. This is the offset impulses of uh, the read error. And um, if I divide by 8, I get the PRG offset. Now this PRG loads at 0801. So the damage is occurring at around 542B. Right. Uh, 
the X view is, is it's not particularly useful for this, but if we open the file in the disassembly window and we go to 542D or thereabout, to be yeah that's, that's this area here what we can see here is that um, the there is assembly code in this area um, it seems to go th through fine up until let's say this point and then because of the damage everything gets um, misaligned um, the, the bits are not um, um, respecting the bad boundary anymore so the rest of the this assembly looks uh, looks like uh, uh, garbage. Let's um, fix this one here. Um, just copy this one and then have it here. Okay. As I say, this is a file in a series. So because this is assembly code, you would hope that this is the supporting code that is the same in all in all files in the series. There's only one way to figure out if that's the case or not. Just have a look. And we go to the same section 542B or 5427, pretty much. And uh, let's see what we find there. Oops, too far. So 5426 seven yeah as you can see it's the very same code decrement y load this one same thing right so up until load y02 the code is fine and then this one is already compromised to this byte here so we will say all of this is rubbish and uh, unusable for this one, it makes sense to open also open it in the hex editor and uh, go to that address five four two seven more or less. Uh, we have five four two one. Uh, yeah, well that will do for now. And um, let's have a look. So RTS is sixty, and we are here. So this is CLC, which is eighteen in X. RTS is six zero sixteen X. Two one two two three four five. So this is two five. And then five four two seven is zero zero two. And then there is a bunch of extra data. Um, hopefully we will not need this one. Um, the correct code after that is going to be this one. Now let's uh, speak a bunch of it. And um, for what we are going to do later on, we have to get the binary representation of the about bytes. Um, I'll do a few of them and see how it goes, and then um, get back to this. Um, right, so it's 18, no, three zeros in this one, and then there is 60. Five four two seven A zero O two B one and um, as you can see, I'm decoding these uh, most significant bit first because that's uh, the endianess that uh, TurboTip two hundred fifty is using. B one seven F is eighteen is it eighteen again, so it's this one. Then sixty-five. Uh oh. Sixty-five. And seven F again. And then there is AA, which is one zero. One zero, one zero, one zero. So it's alternating. Yeah. This one a tad wider. And yeah, let's let's stop here. Um, 
for the time being and uh, we'll get back to this uh, to this in a minute so as I said um, unfortunately uh, some bits um, have um, have been corrupted and uh, the, the whole file got um, misaligned so the byte boundary is not um, um, respected anymore and uh, from pretty much uh, 5429 onwards we've seen in the disassembly that uh, the code was was looking um, uh, like gibberish and um, what we have to do is to realign uh, that stream to the byte boundary so that the code is showing okay and we also get confirmation of how many bytes uh, need to be uh, inserted that have been uh, that uh, have been truncated and they are missing in the, in the final version of the file there's, there's a number of ways to do this sort of things um, based on experience and a little bit of guesswork um, we can uh, we can uh, do that uh, based on the, the report alone uh, but first thing let's um, open the tab file in X editor and uh, this is the address of the first error first read error which yeah, it's it's an oversized pulse. You know, it's, uh, however, things start to go tricky here. Although this one is just a, a question of, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this this is it looks fine here. And then this one, w what we can do is overwrite it. Before I do that, uh, let me double check. Uh, in the report itself um, so this one is telling us that the trailer for this file is uh, 2026 let's have a look at the standard trailer for these files uh, file 165 2014 which means there is a difference of 14 Yeah, difference of 14 pulses. So let's um, overwrite the oversized pulse and the pause with bit 0. Uh, double check that these bits are all in range. Yeah, and then we add here 14 bytes. And let's use bit 0 again for all of these. Now what we can do is export this file to let's call it fixing because we are still fixing it and now what we do is um, we load this one in tab clean let's see how things go um, this option is not required anymore by the way because we don't have a pause in between uh, the checksum is still failing we don't have any read error though which which is good um, what we also have is that the trailer now should show up as 2040 pulses so the stream should be realigned but if not we just have to you know, insert try to insert or remove at this point bits in the stream until the list listing shows fine after the damage. So the damage was in five four two four more or less. Let's see how, how it looks like now. As you can see after the damage and these are these are the, the zeros I've inserted. After the damage it looks like um, the code is showing up fine again. It's it's realigned again. So the 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 bit stream is realigned uh, the, to the byte boundary, and uh, you know the the subsequent code is showing up um, 
absolutely fine yeah um, this is the FNIP that I get from I got from um, the the task task tree file and um, yeah as you can see this one is still wrong this there's, there's a bunch of things here that um, you know we will have to fix and this one is resuming okay now the things we have to fix are a002 is fine so 54429 five, four, b1 is still fine the instruction ld instruction but uh, yeah this one is the first one that we have to start uh, to overwrite and then there is um, so this is the ld instruction clc adc 7 f and then aa is is where things match up again so it's two nine a b c d for so it's five four two e is 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 fine again and so this one is five four two e which is fine again so just um, two eight two seven two eight two nine yeah, just uh, to confirm, we expect this pattern has been uh, impaired. Um, this one was fine still, and this one is fine still. So what we do is we find out this byte, possibly using this this one as a sentinel, because it's easy. There's so many zeros in here. Then we find this one, insert this pattern here. There should be this one afterwards and we should be good to save and try the results of this so let's let's try again to find this pattern with so many zeros now the the, the first thing we changed was here the first uh, read error was here the oversize pulse and this looks like that bunch of zeros that are in between here right so this is 5 and six 11 and we have here here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay eleven and then after there there should be one zero yeah which completes that byte yeah that's fine and then this one should be b1 so it's eight bytes so one zero one one zero 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 one that's fine then there is zero one 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 and this two should be bit one as well, right? Because it's seven F, yeah. So again, this one is B one eight bits. This one should be seven F, which means this one we change it to say two nine two nine. Then this one is eighteen, so it's one two three zeros then two ones and one two three zeros again and we've done 18 then we do 65 which is starting from here it's zero so it's one one two zeros one zero one that was 65 and then we have 7f 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which is this one and then seven and then we have this one is one zero one zero one zero one zero which is a zero and then after that we have c8 which is eight four one eight four two yeah this is this is c8 so that's fine this this is the re reconstruction and um, um, before I export it again uh, let's fix the sides in the tab header it's not required tap clean can do that but uh, I like to do it so the the last address is two 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 three d zero one 
if the 0 2 is then the size of the file minus 14 which is the top header uh, size it's 223CEE EE which is exactly the number of bytes the difference between E0 is EE is um, 14 bytes which is exactly what we've inserted so that that matches up we could have done it that way yeah export it again um, still on the fixing side of things save yes tap clean it's already open let's tap it 99 percent and the checksum test is passing so the file has been repaired and just for you know, double checking things task 2 data let's go to the point where the damage is 54 to 6 and as we can see let's pull up this one again so it's low dips with 2 and then there is LDA 7F CLC 8C tax and epsilon blah 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 again the code looks fine now the file passes the checksum test it was this one wasn't it 132 yeah this one and the tab file has been repaired and preserved forever that's about it thanks for watching bye